safe to say we've all had our fair share of Zoom calls over the past years. And now the new movie Family Squares is shining a ring light on the beauty, pain, and humor of it all. And it's doing it with an all-star cast. That includes Casey Wilson. Take a look. Katie, are you doing some modeling on the side? I don't think the light's big enough to get rid of the lines. Ah! They say you can choose your friends, not your family. What would my life be like if it wasn't for you guys? But you can choose to be friends with your family. I have so many things I want to tell you. <laughs> and Casey is here with us now. Hi, Casey. Hi, how are you? This movie was beautiful. It's Thank you. Beautiful, it's hilarious. It's gut-wrenching. And then it's also relatable. Like, it's all of the things. It's like, for you, why did you need to say, absolutely, I'm in? Well, you know, it was during a time, obviously, of the huge lockdown, and I had been with my children trapped in my house for about, I want to say, six months, and then I got an offer to be in this movie with Margaret Martindale and Henry Winkler and June Squibb and Judy Greer and Sam Richardson and on and on, and I was an endowed, and I was like, I will be there. So yeah. first, let's just set up Family Squares for everybody. Please. Um, family Squares is a movie about a very large kind of family, and they've all suffered a huge loss during the pandemic, and so they're not able to hold kind of a funeral in person. But it's actually quite funny, you know. It's it's all it's very poignant and sad. But I don't want people to get the wrong idea that it's this kind of dark pandemic movie. Uh, yeah. Tell everybody about Katie. I love her, by the way. Oh my gosh. Well, I had the pleasure of playing the kind of, you know, the person in your family, which is kind of me, but not really. Who's like the organizer, the type A who does everything and is quite put upon, but also doesn't want anybody to do, to not do everything. You know, she wants to do everything, but complains about it and is emotional and really struggling at many points with her ring light. How many was it doing it at home too? Like it was crazy. I like locked my children out of the room and then the set designer dropped off props, props in the set. So I had to remove everything and just filmed all around my house. I filmed my yard. I filmed my niece played my daughter. My son played my son. We just had to use the people that were at our disposal, you know? Who had the hardest time with Zoom? Look, I want to say I had a hard time too. So I'm not throwing anybody under the bus because I can do things where I'm like going for an hour and then I find out I'm on mute. But I will say, you know, I think Margot and Henry, they, you know, they had their moments with the, you know, it's not easy. It's like, here's three cameras and you're setting up and you're this and you're that. And these are award-winning actors that should not be doing their own, you know, stuff. But but I also had my struggles too. So I actually put myself right, right on par with them. And so I know that you're also a Housewives fan. Yeah. I, 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 I always find this to be so fascinating. Like yeah. this incredible actor. And then you have this podcast and like, you're like obsessed with the Housewives. I know. I find it incredible too, because it's embarrassing, but yet not. And I... <laughs> I've had this podcast for six years called Sesh about the Real Housewives and it's a comedy podcast and no more quite mean, but also loving. And for a while, I kind of like hit it like my secret shame, but there's so many Housewives fans out there that I've kind of come out of the closet as a Housewives lover and I'm loud and proud. And if you like garbage television the way I do, come listen to the podcast. <laughs> you will find a home, a safe space with us. I adore you. And let's, let's end with one thing that everybody should know about Family Squares. I think everyone should know that this takes us back to a time, but not in a kind of a traumatizing way, but in a kind of beautiful, hopeful, poignant way. And there's so much humor to be found in what we all went through. You know, I've experienced a loss. You know, we all have grief, but there's also a lot of humor in the throes of grief because so many absurd things happen and you kind of have to laugh. And I, I love that humor. And I think it's alive and well um, in, in our story and in our movie. And I hope people watch it. All right, well, let's tell everybody that you can catch Family Squares in theaters and on demand now. Casey, thank you so much. Goodbye. <laughs> so nice to meet you.